I was lucky enough to basically come up with probably one of the more highly resolving arrhosis available uh, to do the PCR work. I'm Maxine DeMay, Associate Technical Support Director at Wanza Rockland. It was an Argros base that actually rivaled polyacrylamide, which was a little bit unusual. Uh, and the desire for use of Argros instead of polyacrylamide is because it's very inert and it's obviously a lot easier to make. Metaphor was really a something that built out of PCR. PCR generates small DNA fragments, which are difficult to separate on traditional agarose gels, and Metaphor was a further extension of the NUCIV product to enable people to look at even smaller differences in the size of small molecules. With the kind of the coming of the PCR and the Human Genome Project, then it became essential to basically make sure that the argrosis were actually very pure. And so we came up with the genetic technology grade of the argrosis, um, which they're not only are they pure, but they're actually also quality tested to ensure that there's absolutely no inhibition to enzymes. It's really important to us to have a high quality agarose that are used in these um, very specific applications. We go the extra mile to do extensive testing to provide genetic technology grade agarose products. So if you um, have a precious RNA or DNA sample that you're trying to isolate, you don't want any impurities impacting that. Researchers can use a method looking at whether they produced an edited copy as to whether the DNA is cut by a certain enzyme. And when they look at that cut DNA, the flash gel enables them to do it in six minutes instead of hours.